me, Tony, and today's video, we're going to be talking about The Lawrence Loafers by Steve Madden. So if you guys are interested in that, please stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, my channel focuses on a little bit of luxury. I like to do unboxings. I also like to find things for less and find good dupes, quality dupes. And this shoe is no different. Um, and so if you guys are interested in that, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Um, I also like to do a little bit of fitness content, some travel and lifestyle. So if that's your sort of thing, you're also in the right place. Okay, so um, we're going to talk a little bit about these shoes that I got from Steve Madden. It's not an unboxing, it's more like a review. So I'll try to talk about the shoes and i actually wore them yesterday so i'll kind of talk about my experience wearing them for like a full like work day and then also try to show you them on my feet so that you can see and then also talk a little bit about sizing so all that will be kind of wrapped into one in no particular order okay um, let's get started so um i got these shoes from the steve madden store yes they do have a store um in chicago so i went to chicago this past weekend and they had a steve madden store and we just went in to check you know steve madden if you guys are looking for dupes steve madden has dupes okay however sometimes the quality of their dupes are not for me i would like quality pieces that's one thing on this channel that i focus on that's bringing you guys a little bit more of a quality um because some stuff you can find dupes for but the quality isn't there um however these shoes there is quality these are a good dupe for like just the chunky loafers in general and i wanted to try out this style um, because I don't think like this is a classic style. However, if it lasts for a couple years buying this pair, um, it will work. Like it won't like mess up where you have to get a new pair of shoes each season sort of thing. So yeah, got it. I got this from the Steve Madden store in the fashion outlets. It's in Rosemont. Um, and in that outlet, they have other stores too, like Gucci. I got this thing from Gucci. Um, there, they also have other things, but this item was a final sale item. So they took 50% off online. This shoe is $99. I got it for $30 and 32 cents and I was including tax. So I love a deal and it's actually leather. So let me show you the shoes. Okay, so these are the shoes that I bought. They kind of, I guess they're kind of reminiscent of the Prada because they have the little kind of chucky thing in the front instead of like a horse bit or something. These are the bone color. Like I said, I did wear them. So they are kind of dirty on the back. Um, I need to clean them. I don't know how that's gonna stain or how that's gonna work, but I did like get stuff on and was able to wipe it off pretty quickly. When I did, it came in this box and it was on their clearance wall for $54 and then it was 50% off of that. So it's $54.99 and then I got 50% off of that. The only thing is it's a final sale item. So if you guys are over that way, it might be good to go check out the actual Steve Madden store because they might have some of the things that you see online in stock on the clearance wall at the store okay so yeah these are the shoes um they are supposed to be leather and then the bottom i believe is like rubber um i got these in a size 10 so a size 40 that is typically my size in european shoes um so i was surprised that i need to go up i did buy the amulet booties from steve madden last year uh, because they reminded me of the gucci um I don't know what the Gucci shoe is, but it's like a Gucci shoe with the little gemstones all around it. It reminds me of that. Um, so I bought it. However, it was too small. I ended up selling them on Poshmark because um, I didn't like how tight they were. So I would say if you're interested in these shoes and you see them online, go up a size or go to your typical European size. So I got a size 10. And I'm typically in US shoes, I'm a size 9. I'm not, I don't wear women's size 10. Um, so yeah, these are the shoes, what they look like. I'll just show you up close. Don't mind them, they are a little bit dirty. I did wear them yesterday, especially the heels cause in my car I drive, you know. That's the shoe. Um, that's what the inside looks like. It says Steve Madden on the inside. Um, their upper uh, PU lining, it's a leather sock. Um, and the TR sole, whatever that means. Okay. So this is the shoe. I will say I wore these all day at work yesterday and they were fine. I would say they're not like comfortable, but they're not uncomfortable. I don't know if you get that, but like they're not uncomfortable, but they're not like, oh, I put my foot in here. This is the softest shoe I've ever felt. 
no it's more like i can wear them they didn't hurt my feet um but by the end of the day i was ready to take them off but they weren't hurting my feet it was just like kind of i guess a snug fit and then like no real cushion i don't wear socks and stuff so that could be a thing if you wear socks you might feel a little bit more cushion into the shoe i don't so um yeah these are the shoes and they're really cute i wore them yesterday with like a little denim dress i'll show you guys me styling these shoes i would definitely recommend them like you see i wore them yesterday there's no like creasing really at the top these are leather so that's good on the site online i seen these shoes um they have them in black they also have them with black and green sole and then they have like a tan color and then they have this bone color but they're a hundred dollars so if you have a steve man near you it might be good to go check them out first um steve manor does always have like codes like 20% off and that sort of thing. I will make sure that I link these shoes down below. Definitely will recommend them, especially for the price I got them. So if you can get them for the price that I got them, definitely a um, $100 shoe. I don't know if I would spend it if I didn't know how to really style it, but I just wanted to try out the style. I wasn't sure if I would be able to style it, if I knew how to style it, um, but I just tried it with a dress and I thought it was cute even when I tried it on the store I tried it on with um I had on like biker shorts or something but it was cute I was surprised how cute it looks with shorts too so yeah this can be worn different ways and then another way I was thinking about wearing these shoes was also with like um these can like sub for your white tennis shoes so like if I was going to wear blue jeans and a white shirt I would throw these on and that would just make the look a little bit more dressy um but casual casual but a little bit dressy like that kind of look kind of funky so that's why i really thought these would be a good little purchase i really do like the shoes um and like i said for the price i got them well worth it um i don't know if i would spend a hundred dollars on them but you don't have to spend a hundred dollars either because they have a 20 percent off coupon sometimes they even go to 40 percent so you can save. You don't have to pay $100 for these, okay? All right. So that's really all I have on these shoes. Hopefully, if you were looking for a video on this, you found me and you're able to watch it. That's my whole reason why I do these videos of, like, stuff I don't really see on YouTube. Just because sometimes people are actually looking for it. Because my other Steve Madden shoes, the over-the-knee boots, the Gibbs boots, I'll link those. I didn't think that video would do well that video did very well people actually were looking for it because you didn't see a review on it so this was the same thing so i just thought hey let's talk about these shoes because they are kind of a trend now anyways i would definitely recommend these lawrence loafers okay especially if you can get them don't pay full price though don't pay full price don't pay you guys i want to thank you guys for watching my video i wanted to keep it really soft and sweet if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and if you like this video make sure you like it that lets youtube know that you like the content and to share it with other people and it lets me know that you like it and that i would do more videos like this if you guys enjoy it also um if you're already a subscriber welcome back welcome back welcome back and if you're new or you want to become a subscriber come on and join us okay we're looking for all kind of good things over here okay only good vibes good vibes only gvo if you guys have watched uh real housewives of potomac they talk about good vibes only in the last episode good vibes only over here okay we're looking for deals Okay, we're looking how to save. We're looking how to find some of those key pieces for less, but also being sustainable. That's a big thing. When I started buying luxury stuff and doing that sort of thing, it was all for the idea of being sustainable and being able to have key pieces that last. Okay, so yeah. That's really all I have for this video, guys. I wanna thank you guys uh, for watching my video if you want to catch me in between time go follow me on my instagram at tony Janae underscore and i want to thank you guys for watching this video because you could have been anywhere else but you decided to be here and i appreciate that i hope you have a good night a good morning a good evening whenever you're choosing to watch this video and you guys before you go watch another one of my videos and i'll see you guys on the next one bye